Scorpio. What's up, water babies? What's popping? Did you miss me? Because I miss y'all. You guys, are you all in this energy of brainstorming? Not knowing what the hell is coming next, but Spirit is saying, Scorpio! Hey, boo hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free right down now. Find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, this is my shit. I'm going to do that. All right? Thank you all for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, your love, the readings. I truly appreciate you all. I believe in our bits and pieces of my damn intro in every freaking video beforehand. Y'all, I'm in this soothe, <laughs> mellow space in this beautiful Mar Martian energy with a bit of this good old Venusian energy with that Libra rising. Um, and my Mercurial energy is in uh, Gemini. I know I believe it's in Aquarius. So, you guys, I really just been straight to the damn point. It is what it is. With love, I love you. We're going to laugh and joke about it because that's what the fuck we do over here. But. At the end of the day, it's to ensure that you got the message. I'm not here to feed your ego, but I'm here to love, nurture, and teach and bring this sense of wisdom to the soul. So whether you like me or not, that's, that ain't my point. But my point is, is that you heard, I said what I said, okay? And a lot of you all are in this energy of needing to say what you said and mean what you said and know that whatever is to come afterwards... It was only to bring you blessings. Take a deep breath, Scorpio, right now. I put on 528 hertz to do y'all video. Listen. It's 528 hertz. Release inner conflict. Stop overthinking and worry. So I'm going to share this with you. Breathe, my babies. Breathe. To the new subscribers. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Okay, we a little dysfunctional. We don't fight a fuss though. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do laugh. We cuss. We enlighten. We love one another over here. We share. We grow. Posy vibes only over here. All right? We one big happy family and we don't do that negative shit. All right? Also, if you need a personal reading, you guys, that information can be found within the description. This message ain't going to resonate with every single damn Scorpio, you guys. And it's okay. It's okay. Watch your sun, moon, rise, and venus. If, 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 if I make you feel some type of way, listen, it's okay. It's okay. I still love you a long time. Nothing you can do to change that. Okay. Let's get it. So, this will be for the sun, moon, rise, and venus, as well as the uh, cross watchers for the sign of Scorpio for the month of October. Let's get into it. Intuitively, I feel that you guys, again, are overthinking a situation that you really don't have to overthink. I feel like something is being, like spirit, the universe is literally conspiring in your favor to put something together as it brings some type of tearing down or some type of uh, breaking of an of a unhealthy pattern or unhealthy cycle in order to um, mend something together beautifully. I feel like things are being aligned and they don't seem like they're very positive, but on a, from a soul perspective, it's very positive because these are things that can create some type of conflict, triggers, as well as emotional burdens in the future um, if they're not dealt with now. And those woulda, coulda, shouldas that'll prevent you or stagnate you or create some type of aspect of self-sabotage to destroy something before you even allow it to flourish and show you that it's beautiful. Or, and I feel like, Scorpio, you have this knowing that it's beautiful, but you have this fear that how this beauty is coming together is out of your control. And Scorpios are used to being in control. You guys are natural protectors. You like to control situations, and it's okay. But the universe is forcing you to a change, forcing you into this change of one self mastery and two adaptability. You already have the dual aspect, you know, master. But I feel like for some of you all, you're there's this you're hiding pieces of what makes you beautiful. You're the only zodiac sign that has ties to both Mars and Pluto. The heavens and the hell, the darkness and the light. 
And some of you all want to sit in this safety in between. And Spirit is saying, remember where you came from. Because you're going to have to use it in order to go where you're going. And can't nobody do it like motherfucking you. So what you scared for is time to jump, baby. Because what you don't know is, is that I put you in a parachute. But you got to jump. Period. Okay? So let's get it. Overall energy around the reading, you guys got the Ace of Diamonds, okay? So some of you all are definitely dealing with the situation here. Some of you all are releasing situations um, that make you feel or people that maybe um, project their fears off onto you. Some of you all are in this space of, again, self-sabotage, guilt, woulda, coulda, shoulda, what I shoulda done, what I shouldn't have done, beating yourself up for another person's decision that they made or beating yourself up for. I feel like you. some of y'all beating yourself up for you actually taking a chance and taking a leap of faith within your for your damn self in order to bring you some type of substance when it comes to um, abundance flourishing within the material realm. But you got to let negative shit go. They could become a disturbance later. So the universe, your angels, your guides, your ancestors, you guys, they are building and they are structuring and they are knocking down any fucking thing. And I don't, they don't give a damn if you kick and scream because your soul has been here many times to master this. And the only thing that is keeping you stuck or keeping you in this space of fear, which is not from the most high God, not the author of confusion. You can't have faith and fear and walk, in the, and walk on the same path, period. They don't go together. You can't stand in that in that in that safety zone. What you gonna do? One side is no greater than the other. I hate when people say, "Well, the light." How the fuck do you think you get to the light? You have to have you have to illuminate your way through the darkness. How the fuck you gonna be a chief if you if you ain't mastered the the asset of being an Indian, the aspect of being a damn Indian? <coughs> That's the problem in the world. Too many damn chiefs who don't know how to do their fucking job. They took her jobs. And we want them back. Because I ain't no corporate mother. Listen. It ain't. Some, this how I, I feel like I'm speaking on behalf of Scorpio. I'm not going to be a follow the rules corporate motherfucker. Some of you guys are having to lean on your creativity. Lean on your rebel. Lean on your inner rebel. Share your mystery. For the greater good of the collective. Because that, my dearest, is what's raining game of blessings. You sharing your experiences. You actually gaining wisdom, perspective, perspective, philosophy through the actual experience. Let the feelings go. What you learn, though. Think about it. Right? Angel message you guys got. I forgot Pisces, angel message. Pisces, if you cross watching, don't cut a bitch. Okay? I, I Listen. 12 signs, one me, emails, a bunch of shit. I needed this 528 too. This for us. Okay? Let's get it. You guys got victory. Okay? Archangel Sam Define. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. They need you to master that aspect of the knowing. You know. You visualize things. You build things. You create things off of your know. Your belief. Your know. And Scorpio, you guys are just born with such this amazing insight to the to the point where you just know some of you all are fearing what you know and spirit is saying it's going to be victorious you've already won judgment was made on a situation whether it's a bit uncomfortable they're saying have faith because it's only to get you a step closer to what's fated for you and that's victor victorious times abundant type teams and for some of you all, with this purple being here, this crown chakra energy, for some of you all, this could also be some type of inner knowing. Some of you all are maybe some type of um, inner awareness as well in the month of October. Some of you guys could be having extremely lucid dreams. Some of you all, um, I'm hearing turn to children. Some of you all could also have your, um, can receive some type of confirmation regarding your path and the path that you're on through children. Some that you know, some that you don't. But they're only being used as a vessel, they old souls, to give you that surety that you're looking for other people outside of yourself to validate. The spirit is saying it's time to master the self. 
because in doing so, baby, it rains in abundance. For some of you, all this has to do with love, a flow that's being built in abundant flow. For those of you who are experiencing any type of stagnancy with your finances, you, do, you guys are questioning where they're coming from. In the month of October, you guys, you will begin to see a positive and very abundant flow. But there's a need for you all to first set healthy boundaries with the flow and not feel guilty for doing so. Because listen, if you're not right, you can't get nobody else right. Some of you guys are also feeling guilty for a decision that you made based off maybe your own selfish reasons. But Spirit is saying that was a lesson in order to get you to a blessing. Slow down and allow yourself to deal with that. And understand how even through experience, some of y'all have already paid your karmic debt with that. So let go of that guilt. Because your blessings are trying to harvest, baby. The seeds that you've sown, they've grown beautifully. This is your tree. The beautiful and right. And some of you all, I heard miraculous blessings. Some of you all, it's just a time of rain or rain of harvest for you all. So it's okay to slow down and not feel bad because this you are also on a journey no matter even, and I feel like this is for someone who leads other people. I actually heard thousand subscribers so some of you guys could have thousands of subscribers you could also be youtubers healers shamans heal you could you could have <clears throat> you could see a lot of abundance coming from your business and spirit is saying some of you all are just keeping at it keeping at it keeping at it keeping at it out of this fear of this lack mindset that's still there still a bit of residual energy up there have the conversations and speak to speak to speak the things that need to be spoken during this time as well some of you all, the situation is being completed with the nine here in order for another one to be harvested. <coughs> Excuse me. And you're being called to not only be consciously aware, but to share that wisdom and come out of this space of solitude. It's safe now, Scorpio. You don't have to look over your shoulder, baby. When Michael said, just look over your shoulder, honey. You don't got to do that shit. Big chill. Self-mastery through experience. What have not? What have you not tried? You want to know where you're supposed to be? What's that thing you love the most, but you scared than a motherfucker to go get it? Spirit is saying, you ready to have some breath. You ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. Some of y'all could also have cancer in your chart as well. <clears throat> or you could be dealing with the cancer. For some of you all, you could be hearing news regarding pregnancy, weddings, marriage celebrations, engagements. For some of you all, you're sharing this news. <clears throat> and for some of you all, everybody ain't going to be happy for you news, okay? Especially that some some of y'all are sharing this news in the water sign or a damn fire sign. They ain't going to be so damn happy. Okay? But sometimes you got to lose to win the game. Yeah, sometimes you got to lose to truly experience. And that experience walks you into your wings. Okay? Let's get it. Let's get what messages do you have for a beautiful scorpion? Some of you guys in Venus as well as the cross watchers for the month of October. Some of you guys could be, um, yeah, some of you guys could be starting something new with a fire sign or wanting to make an offer to a fire sign or a water sign person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, from your past. You wanted to balance out a situation, okay? I feel like you or this other person has two options to choose from and someone, I do feel that someone has was possibly honest up front and if someone was not honest up front, someone else, the third party is getting ready to communicate with you during this time, okay? Someone also feels guilty for some of the decisions that they made, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, every real Sagittarius. This person feels guilty for, yeah, some of y'all, you're dealing with a situation where even though there's a lot of love, either you or another person, for some of you all, I'm hearing mutual energy. So some of you all feel, it's like you're not allowing yourself to experience and go with the flows of love because there was some sense of betrayal in the past that 
it's like you you keeping your damn sting god and this person got their flames ready and y'all ready to go at war and spirit is saying that's not the energy here both of you had to experience that heartbreak being on both sides of the fence in order to make you kind of mature receptively to know when to cut off unhealthy situations and when things when to begin pretty much to know how to communicate your feelings to know when to cut off unhealthy situations for your own self-worth, for your own self-growth, for your own soul's experience as far as ascending out of the benefit of you. I do feel healthy communications, open communication. Some of you guys are actually, um, some of y'all could have cut off or got cut off by an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is happening due to the fact that some of y'all could be cutting this person off. Others of you, <clears throat> you could be finding out that you're pregnant by someone, Scorpio woman. You could have children already by an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And this person wants to come back and make you an offer of reconciliation. I do feel like someone does still have a lot of options. And because of that, maybe you or another person is resisting really truly giving to the giving to the union, even though there is a lot of love here. But for some of y'all, it's because you got a whole nother option that's available. Someone new wants to come into your life and then came and shook shit up. So you're not going to allow this person to come in and slow you down when you want to have the door. And for some of you all, that's a problem for some fucking body, okay? Especially if you're dealing with the element of Earth, Capricorn, towards Virgo. For some of you all, this uh, that that relationship could have been very codependent in the past. And some of you all don't want to accept an offer from, from someone who you have children with because you feel as if this person is needy. I heard too needy. I don't see you accepting that offer. Some of you guys have another Capricorn towards Virgo, someone that's new. Some of y'all work with this person or could have worked with this person previously before you could have been released from a job. This person is reaching out. They're wanting to help you. This person could even be offering to help you find another job or help you start up on some type of business. Spirit is saying accept it. That's your blessing. For some of you all, after there's some type of news regarding a pregnancy, possibly from someone who you separated from, there's a sense of guilt. Due to the wanting to break up, a, due to the breaking of a cycle. So some of you guys could be reconciling with someone because you have uh, a child with this person. And it's going to really hurt someone who you really could love. Some of you all have not, have been beating yourself up about making the wrong decisions when it comes to matters of the heart in the past. And these opportunities are coming right back around again. The wheel is turning in. So you're going to have to make a decision if I'm going to cut it or clean it up. Am I going to cut this shit off or am I going to clean it up? Am I going to communicate effectively, be willing to compromise and not control? Compromise, not control. Compromise, not control. Because for some of you all, the energy is beautiful here. There's a lot of love in the situation. And it looks like money is going to flourish from this situation as well. But someone just needed to make a decision. Both parties needed to make a decision on where they wanted to be. Say when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how I feel so sad. Now that I want to leave, she's crying a heart to me. How could you let this be? I just need time to see where I want to be, where I want to be. Now when I sing that, so who's waiting for me to hit that? Sweet little 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 I don't mean to hurt you, baby. Somebody has figured out where they want to be, Scorpio, and they want to be with you. Ooh, yeah. they rather be with you. They don't see growing stability. They don't see their future without you. So it's okay to let the walls down and trust this individual. It's okay to take a damn day off. Because for some of you all, you're going to get mentally sick. Some of y'all could even be experiencing headaches and shit. Some of you guys, this has to do with the career. Do I choose my passion and my purpose over what I can only see? Or, or, or do I choose only what I can see for right now, which is a paycheck? But I've been doing that for years. What have I done different? I ain't jumped off the cliff and started my own business, even though it's here. Some of you all are even getting help from... Some of y'all, it's destined to, for you to have some, type, have some type of going to some type of collaboration with your partner. I heard label. Some of you guys could be wanting to start a music label or some type of clothing line. This person, 
For some of you all, it's destined to be a part of that. But you have to let go that fear of being hurt if you truly trust and build into that. And allow this person. Understand that no relationship is going to be a peachy one. Anything worth having, you're going to go through some shit to have it. Know that. But those are only things to come and test your bud. Test your loyalty. Test your ability to build. Test your foundations. And they can even reveal things. That you don't want to see. Or they can reveal things. That you could have missed along the way. But you're appreciative for being able to see them now. Scorpio, what you going to choose? Hmm. Hmm. Spirit is saying, if you choose to be receptive, patient, compromising, open with your feelings and emotions because the situation is safe. Whatever you're moving away from and closing out in the month of October, it's happening. That closing out here with the 1010, it's happening. You're dropping. You're going from burdens to beauty. And beauty comes with counterpart energy. And I want to cry because I love love. Some of you all, you have someone from the past coming in to disturb the peace out of this sense of entitlement because they felt like they were supposed to have this with Scorpio. But they came in like this, resistant. They wanted you to chase them. For some of you all, you're realizing that someone was worth the chase. But you're having to trust yourself and know that the feelings will be reciprocated equally. I feel the aspect of surprise for either you or another person. But someone's not giving out without a fight, Scorpio. They see that you're worth it. And they feel the same. And you do too. So why not just tell them. It's safe. Okay. <clears throat> For some of you all who are dealing with fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like. There's victory here. But someone could have been resisting it. Due to not knowing if the situation was. Fully able to be like able to be fertilized for the recall and I'm seeing that both of you all are mirroring one another fears but you're also mirroring one another's love say what you need to say because you, you may not get an opportunity to say because I do see that someone is getting ready to elevate <clears throat> so you may not get a chance to say what you want to say Speak now, forever hold your peace. But for the shit that's robbing you or have robbed you in the past of your peace, speak up to get your closure so you can send that shit packing towards you, to for you to move towards you going to go get that peace. Because it's here for you if you so choose to take it. Okay? So that's what I have for you all for the month of October. I love you all so very, very freaking fucking much. I was trying not to cuss, but my mouth is a pot. I have to accept the fact I got a bunch of lit shit in my chart. Aries, Pisces, Libra, Gemini. It's lit over here. So I just can't help it. And it's Libra season, and I feel like it's my birthday, too. So because I'm trying to upload um, and then go live with the air sign, y'all know I just told y'all, like I told Pisces, I, I did y'all live. I didn't do Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all waiting for that damn shit to, cross, to drop so you can get your cross watch on. Here I come. What I was supposed to do, neglect you? Because I was waiting to do some lives, too? Come on now. I'm one person. Some of y'all are one person. And some of you all are readers and you beating yourself up behind what you haven't produced. But listen, you one person. And in the midst of being that one person, fuck all of that. Aside from that, that's some free shit. To pay for a reading. You know why I'm late? Because people have been paying for readings. And I'm a single mama and I went into this business too because I love people. I love being able to share my gifts, but I quit my job to do this. So 
you know, stressing, stressing, letting people stress you out with some free shit when they have the option to go down in that list. Just like you chose to jump off the cliff to invest in yourself. These motherfuckers need to invest in their reading for the information that they need to invest in themselves. But that's not your part to worry about that. Period. Not just readings. With anything in your life. Anything. You trying to get your coins. Folks mad at you because you ain't talked to them. Listen. <laughs> and you worried about what they said. How they going to perceive shit. dies. Ah, not your part. Not your part. Some of you all are running away from your blessing. I see you making a U-turn to go get it. Don't be scared. It's safe. They about ready to bite your ass too. Alright. There's a whole lot of passionate stuff going on up in here. Some of y'all is connecting with another Martian in Aries. Some of you guys are reconciling with that Sagittarius. Others of you could also be finding out that you're having a child with the water sign. And if you're not careful about some type of reconciliation with the water sign, who you already had kids with, you could be a parent again. Congratulations, though, with the little kids. I love you all. That's what I got for y'all for October. When you're reading, get your girl up. Um, also, I'm going to tell y'all that in the live stream. Love y'all. Peace, blessings, love, light. Many, 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 many more. I've come to connect with you all. I love y'all, family. I really, if only y'all knew, y'all Scorpio, so y'all should be able to see some eggs straight through my ass. I love y'all answers. I'm in this energy of just such serenity. Um, No matter what the hell is going on, I really just can't be moved. Like, except for behind the wheel, I got hella road rage. But I mean, I'm a Martian. Who, what, what y'all got road rage too? Shit, Aries, but we fucked up behind the wheel. Listen, <laughs> if you date Aries person, comment how they act behind the wheel. <laughs> my little Scorpio friends, listen, even the homies, listen. <clears throat> they don't like me behind the wheel, but listen. So I'm gonna send y'all. Y'all send me healing and, and and a lot of love to work on that damn road rage, cause I'm I'm working on it. I love people. So I, I get in five o'clock traffic, then I'll be like, get your motherfucking ass out the way, yeah. Yeah. So y'all send me some send me some love on that. We, it's a journey. We all is a whips. We working progresses out here. We whipping whipping good. You understand? I ain't trying. I ain't never told y'all I was perfect. I'm transparent as hell for that reason. Because y'all may see me cut up in public. Remember, Mooka, is that Mocha in traffic? Yes. I'm going to tell you now I'll be cussing traffic. Yes. I do. I do's what I does and I'm working on it. Love y'all. Bye, babies. <laughs>